hi guys good morning today i'm going to be making akara so stay with me as i make akara for breakfast we'll be using our beans we're using our onion some pepper i'm using just two because gabriel will say it's spicy spicy <laughs> so what can we do let's manage to first of all we'll just soak our beans a bit today i'll be using blender to blend it blender is the faster way to do it let it soak for a while means there is not enough so i'm falling off while our beans is still soaking let's do something else let's make puff puff while we are trying to soak our beans let's make puff puff so for our puff puff We'll be using our self rising floor. Just put some in the pot. We add in a little bit of salt. I don't measure, guys. I just pour until my ancestors whisper to me that is enough. <laughs> the day Gebra tried it, his fried egg was full of salt. Add in some sugar. I don't like it too sugary, but Gabriel would want it too sugary. So we just add some sugar and then we need pepper. Sweetheart, can you please pass me the red pepper in there? So for our puff puff, we'll be adding our dry yeast. And for our yeast, we would melt it first with warm water. Just going to dilute it that way we we'll add our yeast i'm going to add a tablespoon of pepper i like my puff puff with pepper just going to mix it now add off um flour to make it like a bigger quantity just going to add some water and mix with our hand i'm mixing with my hand instead of gloves because this is just me and gabriel eating this and i'm sure he doesn't mind me mixing it with my hand and i'm just going to test it you know we added extra flour so we would add some extra salt and some extra sugar to taste give that a quick mix so this is the consistency we are looking for because we don't want it too thick or too thin this is the consistency we are looking for now we'll cover it and keep it aside to rise let's check what our beans are doing the beans is soaked now there is a faster way of washing these beans i do it with blender that's the faster way of doing it blender just give that a quick rinse it's clean and i'll be putting these beans in just add water bring down the blender to peel off the skin of the beans i'm not just going to put it on once i would press and release so that's it now we are going to peel off the skin 
put that back in the pot just going to rinse that out so this is it guys it's all peeled off now we are going to remove the skin we'll take off all the so this is the skin this is what it looks like i hope you can see that so it has all peeled off the skin faster usually because the skin is peeled off it will float on the water and you're just going to use your hand to like filter them off the surface of the water and change the water as you go i'm just going to recycle the water this is what our beans will look like like this it's all washed peeled the skin has been peeled off so put that in the blender even if we've used blender to peel off the skin there will still be a few bits and pieces here and there so before you put everything in the blender you're just going to check through to make sure there's no bits and pieces in that's what i'm doing gabriel offered to help select the remaining bits and pieces pop the ones with the skin you see they are coming out this is what it looks like so there is still a few that needs popping out that's what gabriel will help us pop these are some of the shaft that came out of it we still have just a few left one or two here and there popping out so gabriel will help us sort that out let's look at our puff puff our puff puff has risen to twice its size it's ready for frying these are the ones we've done these are the few remaining so it's just helping us to do the remaining ones these are the shafts these are the ones we've done oh baby there's one you didn't do <laughs> there's one this one so these are the ones we are trying to avoid there's one or two here and there so please thank you while he's doing that for us let's try uh please i would need that pop let me transfer you is that okay we added oil in the pot this is our puff puff still rising and this is oil we added oil we are deprying the puff puff the oil is still heating up it's not ready yet let's see what gabriel is doing gabriel is still finishing off our beans that's the last bit just this few left well done that's enough thank you thank you so much i will continue from there now thank you well done just rinse your wash your hands rinse off your hands thank you you are so helpful <laughs> you're welcome thank you you are so helpful just give that a quick rinse let's fry up of pork now it should be ready fry until it's golden brown so now it's golden brown like this one is ready to fry until it's golden brown so I might stick together let's see what one looks like very delicious nigerian puff puff is one of the easiest snack to make i always like having nigerian puff puff around in the house it's very delicious it's easy to make and it comes in very handy when you need something to snack on you can also have a, a couple with a cup of tea for breakfast you can take it as a easy pack lunch for work when you don't have time to make a heavy meal you can also give it to guests as starter with a drink or a cup of tea when they visit you while waiting for you to prepare the main meal ensure you fry 
until it is golden brown and keeps stirring while it's being fried so all the sides of the puff puff can completely fry comment down below and let us know if you'll be trying this recipe at home let's continue with our cara for our beans we'll be adding the two pepper for it to blend we will be adding one onion but we are not going to blend it together with the beans and pepper we'll be cutting it into small pieces separately very small pieces such that you would barely notice it inside the beans i'll be showing you the size i'll be cutting it at in a minute we'll be cutting it into these small sizes we will cut the onion separately into a plate and leave it on the side then we'll add our beans and pepper into the blender we'll add a little bit of water and then blend it to a very smooth consistency smooth consistency we will add the blended beans into the pot we will add the chopped onion this is what the beans is looking like <laughs> looking yummy already we will be adding a pinch of salt to take and one seasoning cube then give that a very quick mix after mixing we'll be defrying it in the oil our yummy nigerian akara is nearly ready are you excited to see the end result i am too <laughs> in most nigerian household while growing up our mothers always prepared delicious akara and akamu for breakfast because these meals are always time consuming they are not usually made on the weekdays because they are preparing us for school and all of that they also want to rush off to work but weekends be sure that our mothers will prepare delicious akara and akamu <laughs> after scooping them into the pot we are just going to stir them and turn them over so all sides can deep fry we are going to be having this with cost out in place of akamu because i don't have a home and we are going to be using custard so to make custard we just put the dry custard powder into a plate and add a little bit of cold water stir it not too light stir it then add boiling water that's our para please subscribe like share comment for more interesting and delicious african and european food thank you so much for staying with us the water is boiled so we are just going to put it into a custard consistency making of this custard can look simple but it requires you to be highly skillful growing up i always remember my mom sending me to make cost out or akamu for the whole house and i don't know i would just make a slight mistake in the mixture or the quantity of cold water i add to the dried cost out powder and by the time i add hot water it will end up very watery oh my god i did those mistakes a few times and we ended up throwing away the cost out or akamu that was meant to be for all of us now i'm going to be adding sugar and also because we are making a nigerian meal Meal today i'm going to be adding evaporated milk <laughs> yummy <laughs> why cooking if you're multitasking like me i like multitasking when i'm cooking i like i can cook like three four different meals at the same time please remember to stir your akara you don't want one side to be burnt while the other side is not cooked so always remember to keep stirring while you're doing something else our akara is nearly ready it's looking golden brown already oh my god this breakfast is going to be on point akara hot akara and delicious custard with evaporated milk this is the first time i'm making akara for gabriel he has had moi moi i've made moi moi for him i've made puff puff for him a few times this is the first time i'll be making akara for him let's hope he enjoys it a yummy delicious golden brown akara is ready it's served with a hot bowl of custard with evaporated milk and a spoon of sugar let's see if gabriel enjoys it what do you think please remember to subscribe share comment <gasps> he has just said it and he liked it thank you for watching